I started the spuds again because they didn't get all the way cooked yesterday. I think they, <clears throat> in fact, if they got cooked at all, I really couldn't tell. So, but the soup heated up nicely. So, if this is a soup heater, I don't, I don't really see much hope for it there. So, the other thing is that if I do bring this pipe up into here and port it right here or right back here to port it as close as I can to this vent then I can blow some air through it have it come out some holes on this other side just drill a few holes let it uh, come through there let just a little bit of air <clears throat> probably don't need a lot then uh, I think it would be an exceptional fruit dryer. Might need a little bit more air power, but the other idea is to loop, just continuously loop the air through the chamber so it keeps heating up. So these pipes just keep heating up the air. And then I think we're gonna have you know, that's pretty hot. Those pipes get really hot. And if I can bring the air temperature up in there to where those pipes are, um, then I think you got an oven. So, but right now this thing I don't know whether I can call this an oven or not, really. It's uh, it's getting there. It's really getting there. Maybe I maybe I should have painted this stuff black in here instead of putting this foil. You know, I just had intended to separate it from uh, the rest of the, just sort of separate. You know, it's got the insulation in there. It is fiberglass, so I put the foil in to totally separate that uh, to separate this uh, this area from the insulated <coughs> area. <coughs> I did that well enough. I feel like. <coughs> I'm not going to get any insulation in anything, so. <clears throat> so the way, and these tubes here, these tubes are, that's totally sealed. So basically I didn't want any, anything getting any, any fibers getting into that tube for sure. That was my main thing. But now I'm thinking at kind of a different level. And I'm thinking what I really want to do is <clears throat> make a fruit dryer. So. And that's going to involve some, uh, that's going to be a little bit more involved. So. Well, not too much, just looping it in there. And that, the other thing is to make this compartment hotter, uh, looping the air, so, to bring it to the, so that, so that it actually just keeps circulating through these pipes. And so it's circulating until it gets up to the maximum heat. And then those old chambers are going to be really hot because that stuff is hot. Because that pipe is very hot. <clears throat> so those are the two options. It's just what will I use more? 
the third option's pumping it into there, and I I don't see any I don't see any chance of that. So. I don't see much chance of that happening, really. We got a good unit right there. So that's a good cooking unit already. It just uses briquettes and wood. <clears throat> you don't have to do anything to that. This one here, you know, as a fruit dryer, it's going to go more days out of the year. I get more days out of the year as a fruit dryer. I get more use out of it as a fruit dryer than anything else. So. <sighs> vegetables, anything. Fruit, vegetables spices, whatever it is. Seriously good idea. And it's a good fruit dryer because And it's a really good idea for this because it's not. Because basically the flies aren't going to get in there, you know. So a lot of people use, you know, uh, what do they use? <clears throat> like a... Uh, A, a fabric or a net a sort of a netting to dry them just put them in netting and dry them right in the sun <clears throat> and so we're not going to get any flies in this thing so this is an excellent way to dry fruit So that doesn't put a net there, but you know. <clears throat> so what I do is just I'd put trays and put some, probably put some screen over the trays. And then, uh, or just put a tray in there, sprinkle some sugar in it, throw some raisins in there. I have raisins. And I don't even like raisins, really. I like the grapes. I like grapes, though. not so much raisins. Okay. I can dry food. And I guess that in there, I can make jerky in there. I can make jerky in the smoker. I can dry fruit in here. You know, this is pretty good. <clears throat> it's a pretty good idea. So the question is, what's it going to be? What is it going to be?
Because I think its best hope is a fruit dryer, actually. Now this is actually a pretty good case. You can set it on an e table and just something like this is just, you know, set it on any table, use it to protect whatever trying to sell away from the flies, you know, lot of potential there for those, you know, just pulling it off of there, but it belongs here. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think if uh, somebody had a little stand and they were trying to sell cookies or donuts or something like that, put it in there. I think that kind of a thing. Of course. They're going to get hot and... That's not necessarily a bad thing. As long as it doesn't have any frosting. Okay, so this is a pretty good... I can see this is the best use as a, as a fruit dryer. That is by just looping that. is by just porting that over there, letting it flow out over there, get it flowing in over there, and then we get, get busy drying some food, which, <laughs> come to think of it, So we're going to find out whether this thing is going to uh, cook those potatoes today. And if it doesn't cook those potatoes, this thing has very little hope of ever... Because I see the breeze is, there's some breeze coming in. There's probably some breeze coming in there. See that thing through these cracks. I put that in there to keep that, I put that uh, stuff in there to keep that from keep that from happening but there's too much breeze coming in there so all right on a hot day it wouldn't even matter would it it's not particularly hot out Okay, so there it is. We just let that cook. I will just let that puppy cook in there. <laughs> Not even warm. These are cool to the touch. The window panes are. Nice and cool to the touch, so. Is <coughs> I might start working on that air looping thing, because that's, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good idea, really. This is 
an oven, I think this thing gonna have to be the outdoor temperature pretty much have to be a hundred over a hundred <laughs> about a hundred degrees. <laughs> so get nice warm air coming out of those pipes though. There'd be some nice warm air coming out of those pipes if I, you know, ducted it or put a fan on it. Put a big enough fan on it, I'd get some nice warm air coming out of the pipes right there. But it's not a very good heat trap right now because of this thing. This thing is just uh, kind of a little bit too much air leaking through it. Yeah. Well. Try to figure it out, right? And uh, this isn't double pane. So those are my two. Those are my two insulations. Getting this, it's like a double pane glass or just some, material that's something that's got some, you know, reflection on the inside. It's just uh, some type of material that's just clear that it hold up to that heat and make it a double just make it a double pane you know something that could replace that something that could make it a double you know something like it just <clears throat> some kind of film or something that i could just put on attached to the inside to make this, you know, give this a double wall up here that won't melt something that's high heat. I think the solar is pretty high heat. But the solar blanket I don't know, I haven't tested it. See how much heat it can <clears throat> withstand. <clears throat> so there's the other option, just putting glass panes in there and getting a double. Get to see that way, you know, you've got <clears throat> at least an air layer, you know, at least like the air, and I think it's supposed to be a vacuum, really. So I'm making this into a, but there's really no point in that. Really just get a double layer. These are cool to the touch. So that's one thing I'm not crazy about. The, this looks like it's drafty. So if those potatoes are going to cook, I'd be really pretty surprised because I think it's a little bit draft. 
This thing's drafty. I would rather spend money so if I'm gonna do that then hmm. so basically I'm going to have to uh, I'll put some kind of aluminum skin on the outside of that thing. Just plop it in there. Just plop some, give it some skin. I don't know, I've glued these things on, so I can't take these off. So they're glued on there. All this stuff is glued in place. So. But really, it's just these cracks. Just these little wood cracks right there, they have to be sealed up. Don't even know how to get that stuff must have shrunk. I think the wood shrunk. Hit those cracks. I don't know, it's supposed to be that. Yep, had to, had to be shrinkage. I mean, that's a lot of shrinkage. Yeah, they were wet, though. It was wet wood when I got it, and I made this thing, and they shrunk. And I got those big cracks in it. Yeah, it was just some just some cheap sealer would do the trick. Really. A little bit of overcast today, but uh A little bit overcast. No big deal though, no big deal. Okay, looks like I gotta start making my rounds here. Got other things to do.